outings, we're only spending $50 a week going out to eat. That's it. Hey family, it's Stacy here at the Positive Spa. Welcome back. I'm glad you are here today. Today we're, today we are talking about our August 2020 budget and I will share with you how much we're able to save this month to apply it to our down payment. I'm so, so, so excited you guys are here. Let's get started. You know, as always, I love visuals. So let's get to this visual right now. Hey guys, so we have now switched to looking at our budget. I figured this is the better way to do it so that like I'm still here, like, hello, talking to you. But then you're also being able to see what I'm doing on my computer. So if you look here, you see that we actually do our budget bi-weekly. So right now we're in save for down payment mode. So as you can see, I have the purple highlights that are like down payment, down payment. And then these are yellow because right now the gyms are still closed due to COVID. So I am not sure if we are going to, I'm not sure if we're going to actually get that money taken out. Okay. This is just a friendly reminder for you to please subscribe, hit that like button, and please leave me some love down in the comments section. Thank you, family. Some things to remember, we have paid off our cars already. We have paid off all our credit card debts. My student loans are on deferment and I'm currently enrolled full time. So I'm not making any student pay loan payments at the moment. We, we live with our in-laws, so we do not have rent or any housing expenses at this time. And that is strategic because we're using this to our advantage to save money for a down payment. So that's a little generous um, with the 150 for gas, but I like to be safer than sorry. Groceries, we spend about 170, about 90 a week. So about anywhere from 70 to 90 every time we go to the grocery store. So I kind of put it into the middle of 170 outings. We're only spending $50 a week going out to eat. That's it. And we're just trying to really control our money and just eat at the house, eat what the parents cooked, or eat what we got from the grocery store. It's really hard but we're we have that self-control it's, it's taken us eight years together to get this kind of self-control but we are ready and we are focused okay we both believe in self-care we have certain self-care appointments that add up to 120 dollars the chiropractor 59 dollars. car insurance 70 dollars. netflix 13 dollars. itunes storage 99 cents so so far this month we have extra money um one thing that we like to do is to have a little bit of a buffer. So I'm going to leave a hundred dollars buffer here. So I'm going to do $1,400 in our down payment fund for this month. And we'll see what that leaves us with $116. I'm okay with that. Now we're going to look at the second week in August. This paycheck is going to last us from August 28th to September 10th. And notice that goes from Friday to Thursday because that's, exactly how long that like money has to last payday is actually the start of the two weeks for us okay so here i should be i'm gonna be in school for the most part so my hours are gonna decrease a little bit so i took the budget down to 2000 and again we're pretty much the same but this time um one of our self-care appointments is not happening my wife gets a massage every month she gets that okay and then we have a storage unit with all of our furniture. I pay for YouTube, um, my hair. These are micro locks. So it, I have 280 of these things in my head. I don't re retighten my own hair. No, ma'am. Our cell phone bill, which is a little high, but it should be going down because I'm going to pay off our watch this month. So, okay, Netflix actually comes out on the 25th. So this one is what I can actually delete. My apologies. I had to fix two things on this budget. I didn't realize I had messed up. All right. So then we may have the gym come out. We may not. We're unsure about that. So we're just leaving on the budget for now. And then my car insurance is $114. So that leaves us with $761.91 left. So of course, I'm going to be a little bit conservative. And I'm going to say let's do $600, $600 to our down. Actually, let's do $650. I'm going to change that to 650 so $2,050. Okay, so another thing we like to talk about as a couple 
is goals. So our goals for this month is going to be, number one is we're focusing on our down payment and any extra money that we don't need to spend immediately, we're just going to keep dumping everything to our down payment, sticking to the $100 limit. I, I wanted to do a better job of tracking gas, making the food that we buy. Y'all, sometimes the veggies go dead and, and it's a sad thing. Rest in peace, broccoli, zucchini, cucumbers, all those have died in our hands. Okay, so we're trying to figure out how to better shop and make all of the things that we buy. So work out more. That's actually for me. I personally like to run, but I have just been mentally just like exhausted and not doing it. So I that's just an excuse, by the way, that like, all that what I just said was an excuse. I need to get out and run. My wife wants to focus on reading in bed at night because she said it really helped her get better sleep versus when she went to bed with her phone. So she's going to try that out. And for me, I need to get seven hours of sleep. I'm terrible about getting to bed absolutely god awful about it i'm terrible about sleep and i know it's going to catch up with me so i need to really work on that and then the last thing is meal prep more i would like to lose like another 15 pounds and i need to work on that so when we do a really good job of sticking with our budget and we kind of slowly but surely get like an extra three to four hundred dollars it's because of our extra income here that we don't really spend what we like to do is we like to create an extra money fund and these are things that we want to do. So now we have $400 extra. So I'm going to pay off my watch. I'm going to look at some camera prices because right now I'm in between I'm in between my cell phone and my computer. So we'll try to do that. And then also I need some new shoes. I am the type who literally I wear. Ooh, sorry. I am the type where I wear the same pair of shoes until like they fall apart. And then I switch shoes. I don't have fashion uh, since no. That, that's all dead so yeah well this is what our budget is looking like for the month of august i hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you have any questions or comments put them down below please let me know what you guys goals are for the month of august i'm super duper duper excited to hear that thank you guys so so much so as a couple oh so as you guys know that Right, this uh, frame. Uh, I'm actually recording. Oh, but I'm gonna delete this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I should put that in there. <laughs>